My days of being patient and giving Trump a chance are over. I just need to make that very clear. I haven't liked him since the start. People know how I feel about him or have felt about him. But at this point, I, I, I'm sorry, I, I'm not going to give him a chance. I'm not even going to congratulate him if he actually does something that's not completely fucked up. You know, I, I, I don't need to give someone a sticker with a big star on it and a thumbs up because someone did what they were supposed to in the position that they're in. For all of those people to be rejoicing and celebrating, giving, at the very least, hundreds of thousands of people a death sentence, and they're just overjoyed about it. I don't know. I, I have a hard time not looking at that as being very, you know, Hitler-esque. But this time, instead of it being a holocaust against people for fitting certain demographics outside of, uh, uh, you know, the amount of money you make, now it's all about how much money you make. And, you know, if you're middle to lower class, I, I guess we just don't deserve anything. And that seems to be Trump's world, a survival of the fittest kind of world, forcing everyone into that kind of mindset. And as far as I'm concerned, we can never really take a stance against other countries that have human rights violations when we've done something such as this. And those people smiling and laughing and rejoicing over this cannot call themselves Christian and have any validity. I mean, how can they claim that they follow Christ in any way, shape, or form when that is the way that they act and when that is the way that they look at other people?